There's a new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.0.2 now with a preference panel. This is much needed. I think you're really going to enjoy this as much as I do. It's really going to be helpful for batch processing. We're going to take a look at it today, so stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'm really excited about this new preferences panel in Photo AI with this new update. It's really good. It's really great if you want to bring in a bunch of images to batch process and say you want to upsize those all to a certain size. You could just bring them in, set this up for the size you want, and send them right back out already upsized. Autopilot will do all its different things, but you could set Autopilot up the way that you want it, and it's really cool, and we're going to take a look at that. Topaz Photo AI is a brand new product. It combines denoising, sharpening, and upsizing all in one great product, and it's really good, and it's still in its early stages. It will be developing you can save right now. It has an introductory price. It's normally going to be $199.99. You're going to save $40 off. Plus, I have a promo code for you to save an additional 15% off. If you already own all the Topaz AI products like Denoise, Sharpen, and Gigapixel AI with up-to-date licenses, this is a free product for you right now at this point. When you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission and this helps me to keep all of my tutorials coming your way. And that supports the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And for that, I want to thank you very much. And now it's time to check out this new update. Now I'm mainly interested in the preferences panel today and you're going to find it right up here. See where it says preferences? Just click that. Now you have an option that you can enable lens corrections when you're batch processing images, so that'll do your lens corrections for you automatically. You just click on this and it checks it on. Now let me go ahead and open up the preferences again and you can see enable lens corrections is on. So every time you load images in here, it will automatically do lens corrections for you. I personally don't like to have that on all the time, so I'll just click it again and it checks it off. And then when I come back to preferences, it's unchecked. But here's autopilot configuration. To me, this is the most important feature of this update, along with a bunch of different bug fixes and things like that. What we can do here is under subject detection, you can use the default setting or you could set it up if you're mainly going to be doing portraits. You could set it up for portraits, landscapes, or none. So you have all these options here. You can have face detection enabled all the time or disabled. And even though you disable it, you can still turn it on with autopilot if you need to. And I'll show you that here shortly. But I like to leave mine disabled because a lot of times I like to upsize my photo AI art like I make from mid journey. And I definitely don't want to have the face detection on for that. So I leave mine checked off now under image quality under sharpen enable when detected blur is soft blurry or very blurry. So you have choices here. You can check all of these on or just the ones that you want. And then under upscaling, this is the most important thing here for me, upscaling. You can set an output size. For instance, if you bring a bunch of images into Photo AI for batch processing, you could say, I want them all to be 2x, twice the size, four times the size, or six times the size, or you could set a pixel count there as well. So if you set output size, if you take a look at this dropdown right now, we're upsizing all the images that we bring in to two times. But if you click the drop down, you can go four times or six times, which is really nice. Or this is under scale. Or if you click this drop down, you could set it for width or height. And that would be your pixel count. But most of the time, I'll be using scale. Now, here's another really cool feature, enhance small images. And what this is, let's click on this. By default, Autopilot will upscale small images from 1.5 to 4 times to a maximum of 12 megapixels with enhanced resolution. Now, I like to set it for this because I do a lot of like mid-journey type images, which are really low resolution images. Any of these new photo art AI generators like mid-journey, Stable Diffusion, Dolly 2, they're all going to give you very small, low resolution files and they need upsize. And this is huge. So you could bring them right into Photo AI and it will automatically upsize them to 12 megapixels. And then you can also 
upsize them to two times, four times, six times, or whatever you actually need. I'm going to send some images into here for batch processing. They're going to be photo, art, AI images, so they'll be small resolution. And you'll notice under upscaling, I have enhanced small images, meaning it will upsize those to 12 megapixels, which is a really cool thing in my opinion. I have enable face detection turned off. Now that's important, and I recommend that you do that too, because this way, Photo AI won't spend time while it's scanning your image looking for faces. If you don't always do a lot of faces, I would recommend keeping this off. Now, if you do a lot of faces, leave it on. But this will save some time in that initial scan. And I also have it looking for soft, blurry, or very blurry images. It'll help with the sharpening on those images. And the subject detection is at default. Let me show you how this new batch processor works with this new preferences. Now, remember, I set my preferences up. I'm going to bring four images in. So I'm going to click Browse Images. It points me to my file browser. Now, just point it to wherever your images are at. Mine are inside of this folder called Photo AI Digital Art tests. I'm going to grab these four images. Now these are mid journey images. They're all low resolution images. So when I go ahead and click open and it starts to scan the first image, I want you to notice over here under upscale, it's upscaling this image up to 12 megapixels in size. It starts out at 1664 by 2432 pixels. It upsizes it to 2862 by 4183. Face recovery was disabled according to how I set up the preferences. Now I could click run if I had a face here and it would run face detection. Now I said in my last tutorial, whenever I do mid journey images, I don't like to add any face recovery to them because they're art pieces. Now it, face recovery is great for photographs, but not so much for art pieces in my opinion. Now, if we come up here to autopilot, you'll notice it says enhancing resolution by 1.7 times. Now that's for that image. Now it only grabs your first image. All these other images, if I click save for images right now, they will all get upsized up to 12 megapixels and autopilot would run when it's outputting the images. It would run and set each one of these up. But I find with my mid-journey images, I get really good results by not touching anything, letting autopilot do its thing. And this is the great thing about autopilot. It sets you up and it gets all your settings for you. That doesn't mean you can't come in and alter them. But for mid-journey images, I find I get really good results, so I don't have to really go in and touch any of these images. But you'll notice on the first image, it's removing high image noise. It also hasn't detected any sharpening issues, so it's not sharpening. And of course, I had face recovery disabled, and it is enhancing resolution. It will always enhance resolution. Now, if I click this and open this up, it's set for low res because that is a low res image, but you could change it to graphic or natural if you need it. But again, I'm trusting these autopilot settings and they will give me good results. I can guarantee you that. But I want to show you the speed now with this preference panel because now I set it up the way I want to work with Photo AI. So now at this point, after I click save for images, Autopilot will determine what these images need. They'll all be upsized up to 12 megapixels, sharpened, denoised, whatever they need. And all I have to do is click save for images. Now we could give the image a prefix or a suffix. I'm just going to give it a prefix of photo AI. You can add the applied filters to the file name if you want to. I'm not going to do that. You can save to the original folder or you can pick another place to put them. I like to put them back to the original folder and then you have a format that you could use. Right now I'm using JPEG at 100% quality. These were PNG files from MidJourney, but you could change them to TIFF. You can leave them as PNG or DNG if you want to, but I would do either TIFF or PNG, but typically I would use JPEG for the most part especially if I was going to have them printed out. Now, remember, I'm just upsizing them to the 12 megapixels. I could have set these up to six times if I wanted to for really big prints, but I just want to upsize them just up to that 12 megapixel. And now let me go ahead and click on save. And now you can see the process has started. You'll see these will get upsized as it goes through. It's processing the first image. I'll let this run for a little bit here. And let's go to the second image. See, it's got upsized to a different size here. And now it's processing it. it takes a few seconds here this is real time by the way i'm not going to maybe wait 
till they all process but we'll just start the next one here and you can see it upsized it as well the images have all been processed i'm just viewing them in the preview app on my mac computer here's one of the images beautiful job it did a great job here's another one and really came out great here's another one they're all upsized sharp and denoised whatever they needed i just let photo ai make that determination for me and here is my fourth image so i'm really pleased with these results i love this new preference panel i'd like to know your thoughts on it let me know in the comment section below what you think of it well i hope you all enjoyed this look at the latest version of topaz photo ai version 1.0.2 with the new preferences panel. I think it's really going to speed up the workflow. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.